Opening the batting will be Alistair Cook and Graham Smith. Uh, I think Cookie, maybe not the most elegant batter, but definitely one of the best uh, run accumulators in the world. And obviously England's highest run scorer, one of the best players of all time. To open up with Graham Smith, who pretty unorthodox, but definitely a very hard guy to bowl at. And when we played against him, he, there was no real way of getting him out until he gave us his wicket. At number three is Shiv Chandapal. Again, an unorthodox uh, batter, but knows how to score runs. Ticks along nicely and can punish you when he wants. At four, would be Kumar Sangakkara. I was lucky enough to watch some of the best innings I've seen. One of the, one of the best looking batters um, in the world and I think his record speaks for itself. Five, we'll go Kevin Peterson. Incredibly explosive player. All formats of the game, but some of the, some of the innings you see him play in a test match, for example, in the, in the Ashes, when he did so well for England. Um, just a great entertainer and a great guy to watch. Then we will go Mihaly Jawardna. Um, played against him when he was at Sussex. Uh, again, a very classy batsman. Just, just again, one of the best, best batters that I've seen. James Foster as my keeper. Um, one, of, one of the best glovemen I've ever seen. I had three years watching him do it at Essex, uh, and some of the stuff he did was unreal. One of the most dangerous bowlers in county cricket. I think Dave Masters in his prime. If there's a bit of a tinge on the wicket, he's, he's made a lot of batsmen look pretty silly. Uh, then I'd go Broad next, get Stuart Broad in there. Um, just relentless, hitting a length, nibbling it a bit both ways. Again, one of England's best bowlers. Then I go for Saeed Ajmal. Played against him when he took Worcester up a couple of years ago. Um, I think he got 16 wickets in the game or something against us um, on a bit of a dust bowl. And yeah, he, he's probably the hardest bowler I've ever faced. And then Jimmy Anderson coming in at 11. Um, swings it both ways at good pace, um, incredibly skillful through the air um, and a great competitor from what I saw. And that was my all-time cricketing 11, what's yours?